What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Yes, you saw the title and the thumbnail right. We are playing Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Now in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to do some contracts, how to do Ethan Nest. Um but yeah, let's just get right into today's video. Alright, and as uh, the counter is counting down, quick shout outs to uh, Jess from the West, 3628, Big Red Cow Gaming uh, 21, and huge shout out to Spuddy Uru 2650 for commenting on all my videos. Absolute legends. Um, I really do appreciate all the love and support from everyone that has been subscribing and all the rest of it. We have officially surpassed four, 400 subscribers. Woohoo. Big freaking um, landmark. Overcome. We are at like 402 subscribers, which I really do appreciate. Uh, absolute awesomeness. Uh, what the hell is this doghouse? Is this new? I have no idea, but we're not going to do that. Let's go and do the uh, Ethan S, shall we? Now, the best way to do the ether nest is with a gas mask. If you don't have a gas mask, um, try and look through the windows to see if you can find any of the bubbles. It's usually like five to six, like, yellow, orangey, like, pussy looking balls in the thing. I want it. Wait, does this even have any windows? It does have windows. Uh, let's see if we can find one. Uh, no, we cannot. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have to go in inside and. See, ah, uh, yeah, in the corner, it's right there. See the, like, uh, pussy looking ball? That is what you have to destroy, okay? And yes, I have a gas mask, because... What the fuck is that? Jesus Christ, that's new. Didn't even know they added those things. Uh, so, what you keep on doing is you just keep on going around and just destroying the, like, pussy looking balls. Uh, there's two... It looks like there's two sections of this, um, ether nest. And, I'll, as you can see, a lot of zombies like spawn when you destroy the first ball so make sure you're prepared and at least have like a two armor plate or if you don't know what you're doing have friends to help you out with the ether nest okay okay now that ether nest is done it is complete how good and after you complete the ether nest you get a lovely chest it's usually full of ammo mods uh which is you can see right there we got cry freeze how good now we don't need ammo mods because we've already got all the ammo mod schematics. As I complete an ether nest, let's go and complete. Let's go and raid a weapon stash, shall we? All right, we had the weapon stash. We have to just, just accept it, and it should show us the direction. Ah, it's over there. Okay, cool. Let's go to that uh, weapon stash, shall we? So what you have to do is, I'm pretty sure, not a hundred percent. Pause it, bro. Anyway. Hey, is this a stronghold? No, it isn't a stronghold. Okay, cool. That's what you do is you hold X on the weapon stash. You put the drill. And yeah, you just gotta protect it. Try not die. Um, because I have a golden pack punch to weapon, I don't think these zombies stay a chance. So it should be pretty easy for me to complete this. Now, for it to go up, you have to stay in the like area where the weapon stash is. So it can like gradually build up. And as you can tell, a lot of zombies spawn. Like, not a lot. Not as much as the ether nest, but zombies spawn every now and again. Uh, like, maybe like every second, I think. Maybe every two seconds. But it's not that hard to control them. But in this small room, I suggest you bring Jug. Uh, maybe like a bomb or two. Alright, now that's completed. You just hold X for reward. Oh, look, we've got a self-revive and we've got a quick revive cam. Okay, anyways. Next contract we have to do is, not what we have to do, but we're going to do is, uh, let's go and quickly get Jug, and then we're gonna go to this one over here. Alright, we are finally here, so what you do is hold X on the contract. I completely forgot what to say what a contract is. Okay, so what you have to do is locate the ether extractors, like the rockets that are landing over there. Uh, there are mercenaries, like uh, NPCs, uh, guarding them. There's like six per rocket, and I'm pretty sure like two helicopters worth of mercenaries uh, come in. Now, do be careful because mercenaries are very unpredictable and could kill you really bloody quickly. I know that from experience because they just suck. Now, they are easy to kill. See what, see what I mean? It's really easy to get 
like killed and that guy's a minigun that is unfair okay anyways so what you need to do is hold x on uh, like this panel looking thing and it should blow up and i start i just oh my god jesus christ oh my god did you see that i nearly died due to bullshit don't you dare and be careful of these things because they beat the shit out of you and they stun lock the shit out of you like they will kill you really goddamn quickly i shouldn't be getting hit so much but i am getting hit a lot. Oh my god, another helicopter worth of these guys? Okay, whatever. We're okay, we need to go. Oh shit! Don't you dare beat me, I swear on everything that is holy, you will die. Oh my god, this is actually really hard. The f It's usually not this hard. <laughs> Why is there so many mercenaries? Is there like upgrade, update this shit? That's so stupid. Okay, we need to be really careful here. Excuse, excuse me, what? Yeah. You shot me through the wall, excuse me. You're not meant to be able to do that. They're cheating and you know it, little turd. Now there's usually, okay, usually there shouldn't be, there's only one shock trooper, but apparently in this one there was two. That is such bullshit. That's probably why I died, because of the stock trooper. Okay, that's unfair. Oh my God, ow, 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 that freaking hurt. Oh my God. This is the most trouble I've ever had with this fuck. And now there is a time limit on this contract, but off oh my god okay let's blow up this last one and then we should be good all right now that's done uh we got okay for how annoying that was to do we only got brain rot ammo mod that is stupid honestly they should really upgrade the loot pool on this game I'm not even joking but they won't do that because black ops 6 is coming out soon and they're probably drawing all their attention to that game which i hope is really good uh let's go do the outlast contract Alright, so what you do is you go and come to this uh, looking thing and you hold X to activate it. And now you have to protect it. How good, right guys? It's similar to the weapon stash, but it's a PD, you know. So I'll get back to you guys once we complete it. Alright, now that's oh my freaking god. Now that that's done, we can um get our loot once we kill the last two zombies. Well, I don't know how the hell that zombie hit me when it was so far away. It's so stupid. Anyway, let's collect a reward. And we got a napalm burst formula. Interesting. That is what you call a schematic. And if you get one of them, make sure to exfil with it so you can craft the uh, napalm. You can get schematics and all the rest of it from completing contracts. And you also get money to pack a punch so you can go to higher tiers. Which in higher tiers, when you do a higher tier contract, more of a chance to get a schematic and more high tier loot. Makes sense, right? Oh, should we do a tier 2 contract? No, screw it. Let's do a tier 2 contract. Let's do a deliver con uh, cargo. Now, quick thing about the deliver cargo. It is the easiest contract to do because all you have to do is just get into a car and get to a place. That's literally it. Now, if you're a first-time Zombies player, my suggestion is to do deliver cargo or bounty contracts. Bounty contracts are yet to verse mini bosses, but the mini bosses are pretty easy. I guess, well to me they are, but I don't know what they would be like to a new player. Because when I first played this game, my friend dragged me to tier 3 and told me to suck it up. So, that was great. <laughs> I went down so much, but I learned a valuable lesson not to play with my friend when, when playing a new game. Alright, now let's talk about the purple zone that you see right beside me on the mini map. Do not go into this purple zone because you will die. Not even joking. That's that's a fair warning. You will die. Uh, grab the contract. Where the hell is that? It's over here. Okay. And the reason why I'm killing tier two zombies really quickly is because I have a pack a punch, free golden freaking gun. Okay. We have to just get to it, get into the car and start driving. You're basically invincible when you get into the car, but um, and you just follow the path. Uh, sometimes uh, they change it up. It's not always the same. If you don't know the route. Uh, do be careful, because I actually generally don't even know the route myself. I'm just like going in the genuine direction that it's in. Sometimes you can get cornered, and one bad thing about this is that you have a helicopter chasing you, trying to uh, blow up your car. But good thing it doesn't do that much damage, and yep, get out of the car once you, yeah, whatever. Anyways, that's it, that contract done. And look at that, we got a uh, blue ether, ether wrench, napalm burst, and PhD flopper. Okay, so next is bounty, right? So, and now the the car, deliver cargo can be found in tier 1, so yeah, and so can bounty. That's why I say, okay, let's do a tier, two, tier 1 bounty and show you guys how easy that is. Now, for me, a tier 1 bounty, uh, I would suggest a pack-a-punch 1 gun. It will kill the like mini boss easier 
But since I have a pack a punch tier three and got golden um, gun, it's gonna be pretty easy to kill to kill this boss. So so you basically don't even gotta see it for not even ten seconds. Now the mini bosses you can get is the mangula. I'll pop the mangula up on screen. I'm trying to think of all the other ones. Uh, mimic. You can get the mimic. But I'm pretty sure you can only you know, get the mangula from tier two contracts. So you can get the mangula. From tier 1, you can get the Mimic from tier 1 bounties. Now, the Mimic can grab you and it just face f you and it just touches you in all the wrong areas. The Mangula is just Iron Man, basically. It's literally a bullet sponge. Unless you break its armor, you're not doing much damage to it. Alright, let's see what uh, mini boss we're gonna be killing. We got a Mangula. Interesting. So, we got the bullet sponge. Yay. If you guys have never played Cold War, you probably don't know what the Mimic looks like. I probably are, have already popped it up on screen. And guess what, guys? I am still sick at making you guys videos. I know yesterday when I did the, um, I forgot what game. I played a random game. I said that I was feeling better. Nah. <laughs> I am not. I woke up this morning feeling like absolute garbage, but it's fine. I can push my body. I can push my limits. It's okay. Uh, now, this is what the Mimic, uh, not the Mimic, fucking Mangler looks like. Look at him. Look how cute. Oh. Okay, buddy. Jeez. Oh my god. Yep. Okay, I only took like three seconds to kill him. Uh, now, let's show you guys how quick I can kill a tier two bounty. Uh, let's go. Uh, where is it? Now, the Manglers do spawn around the map. So do the Mimics in tier three. Uh, they're not just concluded, excluded to only bounties. Uh, now, the Bounty Mangala and the Normal Mangala are different. The Bounty Mangala has more health than the Normal Mangala that you see around the map. And also, Mangala is spawn in when you're uh, X-filling as well in Tier 1. And in Tier 2, when you're X-filling in the Tier 2 area. Uh, tier 3 zombies can follow you into Tier 2, as you can clearly see right there. Tier 2 zombies can follow you into Tier 1. I think it's up to 100 meters they can follow you in to the zone they're not even allowed to be in. So... Do be careful about that. I reckon that's bullshit because I've died to it multiple times where a tier 3 zombie has literally followed me into tier 1. Not joking. It's absolute bullshit. Uh, let's grab this bounty. Now, this game does have bugs like uh, tier... F uh, see, tier 3 zombie in tier 2. Bruh. Uh, this game does have bugs like that one. Uh, and z some zombies spawn in the sky and also go through the ground and hit your feet. Those are the main glitches. Um, it sucks because I've died to it multiple times. It's also invisible hellhounds. That also really goddamn sucks because all you hear is breathing in your ear and you and look around it's like what the hell is happening? It's like a little bit of damage and you hear a hellhound and you're like what the fuck? Uh, we got a mimic for our tier 2 bounty. Now this is going to be interesting because uh, the mimics also shoot uh, something very special at you. I'm going to attack him over here. Oh my god, he's taking mad damage. Holy crap. And his weak spot is that blue thing in his mouth. Uh, yes, he just shot me. Okay, he died really quickly. Oh my god. That's how, that's how you kill the Mimic. Uh, if you aim for the, like, a blue spot in the middle of its, uh, thing. Uh, oh my god, it's a normal one. Look at that. See what I told- I thought Mimic spawned- uh, roam around tier 3, not tier 2. Well, we learn something new every single day. Be careful of Mimic spawning in tier 2 without a bounty. Well, they're not really hard in tier 2. Uh, if, if you see them roaming around, they're not hard. Okay. Oh my god, look at that. The mega, the mega meatball, uh, decides to show himself. Let's just go and exfil, shall we? Should we exfil in tier 2 or tier 1? Uh, let's show you how chaotic tier 2 exfil is. Uh, as you can clearly see, there's a Mimic and there's a Mangler. So, we're gonna kill the Mimic first, because I don't want to grip get grabbed. And uh, we're gonna kill the Mangler. Now, oh my god, it's also, um, this thing. Oh, let's, let's go on, let's go and see the sucky sucky thing. What's his name? Disciple. His name is this, I uh, see, he sucks you off. But it's really easy to kill. So, with a Disciple, what you have to do, uh, is... You have to shoot its hand when it starts sucking you off. And and you also have to aim for its head to kill it quicker. To break its, like, uh, like headgear or some shit. I have no idea. Oh, fuck. I literally... Oh, my... How? How? The fuck? 
fucking how? Uh, C5, let's see if people will help me. Oh my god, someone's coming to res me. Let's go. I gotta go game chat and actually thank this guy. Hold on, give me a second. Yo, thank you for the help. I really appreciate it. I forget, uh, got knocked due to, uh, stupidity. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh shit, I'm in, I'm in third person right now. Oh my god. Thank you so much for helping. I really do appreciate it. So many bloody zombies. That's ridiculous. That guy is so nice. The hell? You know, there should be more zombie uh, community nice guys. Alright, let's give this guy a shout out. Huge shout out to, oh, what is his name? Uh, Lon Lai Don uh, uh, 87, I think it was. Huge shout out to this guy. Huge shout out. We need to get the hell out of here because we're probably gonna die again, most likely. <laughs> he wants to bet. Uh, as I said, tier two uh, Xville is chaotic as hell, so I really do suggest uh, tier one Xville if you're not a uh, a normal player. Okay. All right. As this thing is playing is going up, I'd like to thank. Bro, why the hell is that a zombie on, on the goddamn plane? Stop <laughs> it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you all have an awesome day, awesome night. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next one, I guess. Peace.